Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Cave the Game. Uh, in the last one, we got the Falcon... Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, we got the Falcon uh, to be able to fly, so we can fly now. I feel like we spent the last, like, 20,000 episodes um, trying to do that stupid thing. Uh, just like... Those do not... Those look like mechanical wings or something. Uh, anyway. Wait, those are also way too small to support uh, the weight of that aminal. Oh man, turn to stone off just a regular attack? Alright, not cool. Um, yeah, how many episodes, like, we went on, like, the freaking... We had the... Let me think. We had the... We had the three colored towers. It, was it after that that we started? It was, like, right when we got the ship. Uh, they... I guess we're trying... Well, I gotta give them credit, I guess. They were trying to do the thing where they, like, mention what it can do to, like, make you crave it, you know? Like, what, um... Like what they like what Eagle Raptor showed in uh, Sequelitis with uh, Mega Man X, where they're like, um, when, when Zero saves you at the very, very beginning of the game, yeah, spoilers. Um, he's like, you may even be, uh, become stronger than me, and then you're supposed to be like, oh my gosh, I might become that strong if I play the game or whatever to like get you pumped for it. So they're like, it can go underwater and it can fly, whoa! Uh, but by the time you get to where you can go underwater, it turns out to not really be worth it because it's just more mazes. Uh, filled with random metals. And so by the time we can fly, it's like, oh, about freaking time. Jeez, I wasn't even, like, excited to get it. Like, I feel like, like, I mean, not as much as I should have been. It was nice that, um, you at least don't fight enemies in the air. Some, um, was there, were there games where you fight, uh, I think in Final Fantasy 3, I think there's, like, certain areas where you actually fight battles in the, uh, oh, fuck you, uh, where they fight, um, battles in the air. That was kind of clever, I guess, how they have it where, like, the airship cannons, like, help you. But then, on the other hand, it's like, I feel like that should have done, like, enough damage to, like, like, why, why not just shoot the cannon at it? Like, why do I have to go out and fight also? And then have that, well... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it was nice that they thought of it, I suppose, but... And I guess they didn't want to make the battles too easy by just having the cannon just blow them away right at the beginning. Oh, so, okay, I didn't see the... The little thingy, um little dialogue box at the top said, uh, iron, uh, horn or something. That's what turned, uh, Mysterio into stone. Oh, I forget if I mentioned this already, but man, every time I see, like, like, Jiren, I, I just think of, I think of Jiren from Dragon Ball Z, and holy shit, boy. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I mean, I haven't watched the whole series. I mean, I watched a couple episodes where it, like, shows, like, oh, important fight or whatever. And, uh, I gotta say, like, I was watching some, um, like, there, there's people, like, every time, like, people will dissect, every time they'll have, like, a preview, they'll be like, whoa, there was, like, one scene where, where Jiren, like, had one pixel of a smile, so we gotta make a whole video about that, you know? And, or, like, oh, there's a point where, you know, Jiren's, like, super strong and unbeatable or whatever, and then they're like, whoa, there's, like, three frames where, uh, he has, like, Bat, it's like it was like the first battle damage that he got where like uh he had his like the back of his shirt like got like blown up or whatever there's like a hole in his shirt and you could see his skin underneath or something and oh I gotta make a video about about that or whatever or I think like the first time that it looked like Jiren was like exerting himself in the slightest or I, it was sweat beads uh sweat beads are a way that they like indicate that someone is like fatigued and struggling. So the first time that, um, that Jiren had, like, sweat beads on him or whatever, it was, oh my god, oh my... And I mean, I'm not ripping on the videos or anything. Because as minute of details as it is, uh, it's, I, I still watched them, so I mean, I can't say that it's stupid to make a video about something that's so small, you know? I didn't always watch it all the way through. But, um, but anyway, my point, though, is that, um... Yeah, d was not a fan of the ending. Uh, not, not a big fan. Uh, I did watch a thing where they were, like, speculating about what the ending might be. And, um, one of the... I mean, I'm not going to spoil the ending in case y'all are wondering. But basically, um, there is a winner and a wish is made. And, um, I don't want to do this fight. Not with that Hydra, uh, dude. Where, uh, when it... Like, before it happened, there was a dude that was... Or a, I think it was a guy, was, like, speculating, and they're like, well, this might be the ending, and 
And then one of the things, I think, it, I think they said like a couple of different possibilities, and then one of the possibilities that they predicted ended up being correct. And then what was funny is that when they gave that prediction, they were like, boy, it sure would suck if this is what happened. Or, or it would be really disappointing or something like that. Like, it wouldn't be a good way to to end or whatever. And, uh, yep, that's what happened. And it's very obvious that it was rushed. Uh, like, like, I don't know. Like, it was, it was rushed big time. I think it only... I don't actually know why it was rushed. I did know that they had to get some other... Some other show was gonna, like, start. And they had to finish it to clear up the time slot. But, um... It could also be that the ratings were dropping. So then, because the ratings had hit a certain, like, threshold, they were like, okay, we gotta get a new show on. So finish up the old one. You know? I mean, I guess that's nicer than just saying you can't finish it. Because we're not making money off it. We need to make money now. But, um, yeah, if I had to guess, I would guess that that was, uh, what happened. Alright, no, screw you. But yeah, that, that final fight was, was, uh, it, 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 it was rushed, and, and basically, I mean, basically they had to nerf, uh, Jiren to, to finish it. You know, I mean, I, I feel like that's not really a spoiler. Actually, I haven't fought these guys yet. I just didn't want to fight this rock golem, dude. Oh, wait, he's easy. I just got to use magic on him, I think, right? Oops. Uh, is Vulcan... Oh, wait, no, it's uh, Sunder, but whatever. Let's just use it on him because it's magic. Oh, Sunder hits everybody. All right, let's do that. Oops, I didn't... I don't know why I target. I'm just in the habit of targeting, like, the single dude, but, yeah, I forgot to not, um... We actually haven't run into very many enemies that, um, are, like, resistant, like, highly resistant to something. Man, it didn't kill him. I didn't look at how much damage it did, either. Holy nuts. We lance the shit out of, uh, Luffy, golly. Okay, uh, you have... Ch oh, no, Tom and Jiren have champion, right? Uh... I guess we'll just stronger then. I don't know. I don't. I don't like her uh, HP being that low. Not when I can get that much um, damage in one attack. Um, I guess even with a stronger, she'd still get killed. I'd have to cast another stronger for her to maybe survive. I think. Uh, should I actually do it? I don't know. Oops! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to target Luffy. Yeah, derp. Okay, so there wasn't really anything, I mean, I, I, you know, like, there wasn't anything too special about that enemy, but it's like, well, you know, actually, a lot of the enemies, there's nothing that special about them. They're just regular old enemies, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, not every enemy in every RPG has to be special. But, uh, I mean, they just had that that really strong single attack. I guess I haven't run into too many enemies that, uh, that do that, even. Uh... Let me just see if fighting three of these is, like, worth it. If it's, like, 7,000 experience, maybe I'll do, like, some fights, but not others. Especially if they're, uh, if they're easy. See, Tom and Arugula did good damage, but, uh, Jiren and Lufia, not so much. Well, I mean, Jiren's attack is okay. I guess I can't be surprised that Lufia's attack does less. I mean, it was, like, significantly less. Alright. Man, 100,000? 100, 100, oh, man. I might just say screw it and just grind if I need to. Okay, do I have a sweet water on? Oh, man. Almost make that like a drinking game. Every time Thomas forgets to use a sweet water, uh, take a shot. Uh, mystery pin. Man, the fucking mystery pin. I never learned what those do. Uh, they're only worth, like, five. I think at one point I just said fuck it and sold them all. Just because I needed the space at the time. Ooh, this has rocks around it. Does it, does it mean it's a special chest? It is. Okay. Uh, I haven't played this in a couple of days, so it's possible that... Oh, I think it's going to be better. Holy shnikes, it is better. Uh, let me just check the weight, though. Uh, 250. Man, that's 44 attack. And no uh, stat penalty. Not even a weight penalty. All right. Yeah, I would say that was uh, definitely worth it. This fight is probably not worth it. Well, it is possible that those Ifrit dudes maybe give a lot. 
since those were like the enemies that um that we fought at the very beginning of the game. Okay, did I go did I go right and up? Yeah, I don't like these guys. These guys summon more dudes, man. Not that I am like it doesn't make it extra difficult. It just lengthens the battle, which I'm not all about at this point. I'm just looking to get through this cave. Oh man, boy. Once I finish the cave, oh, we got the tower to look forward to. Whoop de flip and do. Okay, I'm outy. It is kind of a weird combination of colors on those dudes. Like the reddish with the gold with like the gray. Okay, I never figured out what these weird pillar things are. They do sort of look like tree trunks. But like they're so smooth that like for you know, I was like maybe it's um like an ore like part of like an ore vein sticking out or something, but it wouldn't be that smooth, I don't think. Okay, anyway, got a white ring. We're so far into the game that I'm gonna guess that this is actually possibly good. Okay, so this one gives you more defense and more agility, but lose 40 attack. F that. Oh, wait, hold on. This... Hmm. Maybe the rings that I have on are just vastly different. Because this one actually gives them... Attack and lowers defense, and this one lowers attack, gives defense. I don't like... Each, each one of those is a pretty, like, low amount... Like, losing 19 defense, I think, is too much of a loss to gain 40 attack. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to throw it, throw it away. It might come in handy at some point. Oh, man. This is weird. Does this ring have different effects on everybody? No, wait, no, it doesn't. Because I saw that it lowers uh, Lufia's magic resi uh, resistance by 20, but it lowers dudes by 10, and then uh, Tom's by nothing. I think it's just based because it's based on what I currently have. Um... Man, it's not worth it on anybody. I mean, maybe... Man, I mean, g gaining 40 attack with Lufia would be nice. And gain 4 agility, lose 20 magic resistance, though. I guess her magic resistance is already pretty high, but it's like... I want it, you know, having it be that high is, like, good. Especially if we're gonna possibly run into a boss, or possibly the final boss, that's gonna be able to, like, wreck all of us, except Lufia. And then Jiren, uh, I would say not worth it. She loses 15, loses agility, loses 15 intelligence. Um, I'm, I'm going to do it for now. If I run into a situation where I see that we're going to fight a boss, I'll unequip it. But for regular fights where we're going to be mainly attacking, uh, I think it's better to um, to have that on. Uh, the boss we pr or is probably going to be where we're going to need the magic resistance more, I would say. Okay. Because uh, I'm not going to, you know, because if it's just in a regular fight, you can just you can just take the damage and then heal afterwards. But uh, obviously the situation is different when you're fighting a boss. You don't have that luxury. Even if you do, even though you can't heal, you have to heal instead of attacking, and then you lose uh, some damage output to, to do that healing, so... Oh, sweet water. Why must you always run out? Okay, so I gotta get up there somehow. Okay, this leads right to here. Right. So is this staircase where I... Start... Wait, did I... Oh, damn it. See, I don't remember. Did I just come from... Okay, I don't... I don't think I came from here. I am gonna go back to those stairs and then go to the left. Oh, shit. But, the, but then, have I been here, though? I don't think I have... I don't think I've been here. Okay, there's a treasure. But then again, maybe I came from the right door. Yeah, I don't know. That that door on the right might have just been, like, one of those, like, thin paths that has just has nothing but a treasure at the end of it. Oh, sweet water. Why must you run out so quick? Okay, the good news is that this is the dead end. Man, two miracles? Boy, they are loading us up for something. I wonder if we're going to have to uh, do, like, the boss gauntlet. Like, fight all 
four of the dudes again, like all in a row. Oh man, we got a warpy switch and a lever. Okay. Lowers the switch. Great. Now, the problem is that I got thrown off by the switch a few episodes ago. Actually, by now, it was probably, I don't know, five or six episodes ago. Where flipping the switch changed the warp destination. So did I, I like, I don't know if I changed it to the to a good or a bad. Actually, I couldn't possibly change the warp destination of the place that's in there. Because they're not going to, like, trap you in there with no access to get back to change it back. Maybe I changed it to go to there. But then if I change it back, then where would, have, where would it have gone, I wonder? I don't know. Okay, so this entire, this entire area is for that switch and those treasures. So now I know that we're good to walk back uh, the way we came. I am just going to check the right, um, the right door and see. Hopefully, the, I'm really hoping this doesn't lead to like 50 more choices. Well, I guess we have to wait a few more seconds. These hydras just wanted to waste my time. Thank you, guys. Oh, man. Okay. Going all the way around. Okay, a warpy. Okay, I think if we would have, if I think the switch would have taken us to the treasure, but then because I flipped the switch, now it's taking us here. I think that's what happened. Oh shit! Power potion, glass star key, um, gloom guard. Have I? Oops. Gloom guard. Huh. Could that possibly do? Let's use um and power potion is HP. Boy. Um Let me see who has the lowest uh defense. Okay, Lufia. Lufia, that's all you girl. Glig glig. Well, I guess uh we got another let's check out the stats on the Gloom Guard. Man, see, I have a feeling it does has some kind of like extra effect. Cause sometimes, um, sometimes like accessories and stuff, you'll lose stats, but then you gain like some kind of beneficial effect. You know, like it, like it might be something like like halves all elemental damage, but then you it lowers your physical defense and attack or something, or I don't know. There's like a trade off. Because if it's going to only lower my stats, it has to do something else, right? Okay, so let's flip the switch back and uh, check it back and check back and see what that does. Actually, let's just cut for a minute um, just to save a little bit of time. I'm just going to flip the switch. Uh, you saw me do it once. I'm just going to flip it again and walk back and we're going to see where the teleporter takes us. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's see where this uh, goes now. Aha, yeah, I knew it. Cool. I mean, I guess a permanent stat boost item is good, but man, I mean, we definitely had to earn it. We had to walk around for a while. Um, this is going to be, it's either going to be intelligence or magic resistance. Uh, I don't know, you. All right, and uh, back we go. Oh, by the way, uh, I went to look at the glass scar key and we can't see anything about it. And I happen to notice, uh, look at this little guy. We can uh, we can rearrange where our spells go. And look at this. Uh, we can actually put the shit in a convenient spot. We can move the shit around, but you gotta go into this other menu to do it. Um, that would have been useful to know earlier when I was, like, spamming potions, so I didn't have to keep searching for potions. But uh, I don't really use potions that much anymore. Uh, now I usually just heal with magic, so... That's not really useful anymore. I'm not going to go ahead and do it. Plus, we're already probably too late in the game for it to really uh, be worth all the effort it would take to... Maybe I should... Maybe I'll put the smoke balls at the very beginning. Put the smoke balls in the... Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm, that one I'm going to do. Okay, what else am I going to possibly need? Like, want... You know what? Let's just do, like... Like, just probably just a couple of things. That... Oh shit, I fucking crown jewels, man! Crown jewels, what? Ugh. Oh wait, what's this? Was this for another one? 
and I never learned what the Sil Silver Tarot do. What does this shit do? Yeah, if you know, let me know in the comments, please. Yeah, I have no idea. Also, what does the Luck Blade do? Who knows? Empty, uh, empty bottle. Um, my Zelda instinct is telling me to not throw those away, even though I haven't figured out what they do. Um, yeah, if you know what any of this shit does, yeah, please feel free to let me know. Mind Gourd? Oh, yeah, I think that's a, like a one, like a one battle status boost. But if that's the case, I should maybe start using them. I mean, um, you know, like, I guess I should probably use them just to learn what they do at some point. So I'm not testing shit out on the final boss, golly. I still don't even know what a miracle does, I actually never technically used any of those either. I just assumed that because they're rare and you can't buy them that it's uh, like the same effect as a Mega Elixir. Wait, why did I get that treasure chest? Did I get that treasure chest and then turn around? Uh, it's possible. Now I'm so used to just hitting the item button and then hitting right down down A to use a smoke ball that now it's like the muscle memory wants me to move right to the, where the swing wing is now. By the way, I did fight two of those Ifrits uh, off camera. I didn't do... I think I think that was the only fight I did off camera. Holy shit, boy, they are not freaking worth it. Uh, they only gave like 3,800 for two of them. I'm like, that's freaking terrible. That's like two dungeons ago, like worth of. Um, why are we back here? Uh, two dungeons ago, levels of experience. What the frick? Can we go in now that we have the glass car key? We cannot. Well, F me then. What the frick? Did I... Oh, wait. Did I... I don't think I tried to go in here, did I? Maybe I was supposed to go in there to get the Glasgow key or whatever, and then go in here. Maybe there's more than one key. Did I explore everywhere? I think I explored everywhere in that other cave. Let's call it an episode here. Let's uh, explore this cave in the next one. I thought it was going to be one cave, one tower, and then the boss. But what was I thinking? Boy, they can't just give you one cave at a time. Jeez. Um, okay, so in the next one, we'll check out uh, this uh, chocolate uh, cave. This level, or this color palette kind of reminds me of the uh, the Chaco Mountain uh, like part or whatever. That like light brown look from uh, Super Mario World. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, we'll uh, see what happens next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.